Before you start your application, make sure all of your skincare is fully absorbed. If you're choosing to use a primer, make sure you're choosing one that is silicone free. And now you're ready to begin your first Saint application. Your first Saint Compact is probably just going to look like this. It's going to have the basics and nothing more. You can always add more later if you choose, like bronzer, eyeshadow, illuminator, setting powder, and all of the things. But most beginners just start with this. So this contains your foundation, concealer, contour, and blush that also doubles as lipstick. All of these are applied in one light layer, which is going to give you a beautiful coverage. These are also buildable, so you can get light, medium, or full coverage with your Saint application. If you are looking at this and wondering how on earth you would ever decide what shades to put into your compact, that is where I come in. I will color match you to your own custom palette that is perfect for your age, your skin tone, and your budget. So now let's talk about how on earth you apply this. Obviously, you do not have to buy our brushes, but they are designed specifically for this cream makeup. They are a total game changer in your application, and I highly recommend investing in a brush if you're going to invest in the makeup. So all of our brushes are double-ended, so you're essentially getting two brushes for the price of one. The brush that I recommend to all beginners is the 3D brush because this is our most common do-it-all brush, and you can essentially do your entire face of makeup with just this one brush. Another brush that I love and I recommend to a lot of beginners as well is the smudge brush. This is actually an eyeshadow brush. I love this brush so much that I actually have three of them. This can be used for eyeshadow like I said but it's also so so handy when you're just starting out with Saint because it is a great way to learn how much product you actually don't need because less is more with cream makeup. So I'm going to show you how I would use both of those brushes using two different application styles on both sides of my face and you can decide what brush is right for you or you can get both and you know what some people even just apply with their fingers and blend with our 3d brush so it's totally up to you no two applications are the same and no same artist really does their makeup the same we're all a little unique and a little different and that's what's cool about this makeup is there's no wrong or right way to apply it unless you're using too much then that's wrong on side one, I'm just going to use the smudge brush and show you how you would apply with this and how little product you actually need. I like this application style for beginners because like I said, it teaches you how much product to use, but it is a little bit harder to blend versus just using the 3D brush. So with the smudge brush, I like to start with my brightening highlight. I am just barely getting anything on my brush here. And then I am going to apply this on the inner corner of my eye, the outer corner of my eye, on the center of my nose. I like to do a little bit right here and right here. Also like to brighten this part of my forehead and that is step one. That's where your brightening highlight or concealer goes. Step two, I'm just going to go into my foundation. This shade is the one that is going to closest match your skin tone. It is going to be applied, like I said, a million times over in one light layer. It is just going to even everything out, including blemishes, melasma, age spots, anything that is a concern to you. This is all that you need for your main and brightening highlight. Just a tiny little bit and it's going to blend out so beautifully. So let's move on to contour. I know contour seems a little scary, but I promise it's so easy. I never knew how to contour before Saint and now I kind of consider myself a contour pro. Contour just goes down the side of our nose, along our forehead, at the top of your ear, to the mid eye, right underneath your cheekbone, and then along your jawline. This is just going to lift, slim, and sculpt our face. Finally, I'm going to finish with my blush and lipstick shade. If you've never used cream blush before, less is more. I would always start out light-handed and you can always add more later. So this is the first way that you can apply this makeup. It's more of a paint by numbers style, super easy. It would be the best way if you are brand new to makeup or cream or highlighting and contouring. So let's check out option two, which is using our 3D brush. So really it's the same concept, the same placement. The brush is just a little bigger and this can actually be done faster because with this way you can blend as you go and you don't have to apply and then blend. So we're going to start with the pointy end of this brush and I'm going to go in to my brightening highlight first, which again is like concealer. And I like the pointy side here because it just fits so perfectly right on the under eye area. I'm going to put that same shade down my nose and up on my forehead and a little bit on my chin and right above my lip. That is our brightening highlight with the 3D. So with this same brush and this same side, I'm now going to go into my main highlight, which is like my foundation. And I'm still going to be using that pointy side and I'm just going to place this 
on in the areas where I didn't put any brightening highlight. You don't have to layer this. You can leave a space where your contour is going to go because the contour has its own coverage built in. When it's time for contour, I do flip to this fluffier side and I kind of squeeze it. I just pick up a little bit of contour. You guys can see I hardly have anything on the brush and we are just going to pop that right underneath our cheekbone. We're also going to put this right along our forehead, down the sides of our nose, and right under our jawline. Now, when I'm using the 3D brush, I actually like to go ahead and blend these three before adding my blush, but like I said, you can play around with it and see what works best for you. I'm going to go ahead and blend this out, then we'll put our blush on. But when you're blending with any Saint brush, it's more of a stipple motion, not a swipe. So you wanna make sure you're really pressing that product into your skin and leaving it exactly where we've placed it to get the whole effect of the 3D foundation. So let's check it out. You also wanna blend from lightest to darkest when you are blending. Now that I have that blended, it's time to add our blush. I'm just gonna go in with that fluffy side and pick up a tiny bit of blush and just stamp this on. Okay, so here is what side two looks like. And like I said, it's a little bit faster to do because you're just blending as you go and it doesn't take as much time. So let's go back to side one and I'm going to blend the exact same way. And I don't know if I mentioned this or not, but if you do it this way, you do get a little bit more coverage. So it just also depends what kind of coverage you're after. So we're gonna start blending with the 3D brush and we're going to go from lightest to darkest again. So you can kind of see I do have a little bit more coverage on this side, but they both still look beautiful. And that is how you apply Saints 3D foundation. Four tins, one brush, one compact, five minutes. You can be a makeup expert.